What about one of the best tobacco fragrances you can lay your hands on? Or if you want to find out which one it is, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Scott, this is The Centurion, and today I'm bringing you a fragrance from a house that I hadn't discovered before. Um, now, I'm part of a small fragrance group and we chit chat amongst each other. And it seemed like a lot of the people in this group had tried fragrances from this house. So I thought it was about time that I done the same. So the fragrance house in question is 4160 Tuesdays and the owner and perfumer behind the house is Sarah McCartney. Now, I looked on the website and I saw that, that she does individual um, fr uh, like sample packs and I'm a great lover of amber. It's one of my favorite notes, records. Right, what I got back in there was this lovely little bag which I opened up and it says on the front and it says Amber Gems Tester Pack or Taster Pack. So inside was a note. Handwritten with some lovely, lovely embossed paper. And it says, hello Scott, thank you for your order and support. We hope you enjoy the Tester Pack. Happy sniffing, Nick and the team. Or Team Tuesday. So I thought that was a lovely little touch. I like it when when houses and brands give you that personal touch because that makes you feel more closer to the brand, I think. Um, and inside was a number of different, that one was in a packet, but most of them come, I thought this was really, really quite sweet. Most of them come wrapped up like little sweets. And I think there was eight or nine in there and I think it was about 30 pounds which wasn't too bad at all, I thought, for the price. And they're two and a half mil testers, I believe. But anyway, as the story goes, what happened was I got them and I was really excited. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna un unwrap them all. So I just done a lucky dip and pulled one out. The first one I pulled out, I sprayed it and sniffed it. And I said, oh my God, that's the one without even sniffing any of the others. And I immediately went back on the internet and ordered it. Now I ordered a 50 mil and it came in a box like that. It's all eco-friendly packaging as well. Um, and they don't test on animals. And this one is the dark heart of old Havana. And uh, if I just take that off, put that on there. And as you can see, that is the bottle inside. And the juice, the color of the juice here is unbelievable. I don't know if you'll see that or not, but it is a really, it's like a red wine. And for, disclaimer, you're gonna have to be careful not to spray that on light colored clothing because it will stain. Um, but yeah. This is the fragrance, and I will spray some fresh. I've already sprayed a dry down on this arm. But this is the, uh, the dark heart of Old Havana. Now, so a brief history of Havana. Old Havana is a UNESCO heritage site. It's founded in 1519 by the Spanish. Um, it was well, it's well documented and well known for the pirates and the buccaneers that were trying to invade the island and so forth. There's a huge deep history of it. Um, going to modern days now, it, it's got a reputation for having a really easy, laid back kind of lifestyle with beautiful beaches and superb nightlife and music and like that, just that party vibe. You know, you, you get, as soon as you say about Havana, you think of Cuba, you think of cigars, you think of rum and maybe your bourbon whiskies and things like that. And um, that is exactly what this fragrance 
represents to me. Now in the top you have orange, peach, grapefruit and sugar. And then in the midst you have tobacco, bergamot, tonka bean and jasmine and coffee. And then in the base is vanilla, musk and black pepper. Now on the opening of this you get you get a real sweetness like almost a sugar cane type of sweetness and a quite a strong hit of orange and you also get like a peach type of smell but these are all all these fruits sort of smell like they're overripe so they're ready to eat and that's what you get a really rich fruity smell and then with that sugar and it's it's quite sickly but with the tobacco the dryness of the tobacco as well mixes so beautiful it's warm there's that little bit of black pepper in there as well that just spices it up a bit and it gives it that warmth as well but it's just a real to me it's it is like you're partying in the middle of havana at night there's food stores open you're feeling happy you're dancing away there's a carnival type atmosphere there and that's what that represents to me it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance it's got plenty of body it lasts about six to eight hours and um, it is really one of my favorite tobacco fragrances it's strong in the tobacco but with that fruit well it's beautifully absolutely beautifully and it's totally different to any other tobacco fragrance that I've smelled um, so if you did like the video please like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell down below and um, I will see you in Havana very very soon thank you very much